If you have a laptop, put it in a separate bin. Take out your cell phones, bracelets, metal. If you have a pacemaker, remove it. It's not stop this time, so I should be back for dinner. Yeah. Nervous? 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 No, no, no. I um, they have body scanners and they're patting people down and we have to take off our shoes, so it's all very um, state of the art. So I'm just glad they're here to protect us. Love you. Actually, the TSA doesn't protect us from terrorist attacks. Yeah, I'm not just a stranger, Phil. I have a TV show. And you're on that TV show. No, thank you. Hi, I'm Adam Conover. Hi, Adam. And this is Adam Ruins Everything. What's happening? Look, I know the TSA screenings are annoying, but they stop terrorists. Actually, there's very little evidence that the TSA has ever stopped a terrorist, let alone one with a bomb. Hey! Don't say bomb. Wait, 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 wait. Haven't they stopped an attack? Not that we know of. They didn't stop the shoe bomber. They didn't stop the underwear bomber. Heck, they probably won't stop the crop top bomber. <sighs> so it did stop all those bombs. Oh, easy all the other security measures we added since 9-11. Like reinforced cockpit blast doors, the increased number of air marshals, the heightened awareness of passengers like you and me, and intelligence agencies that work to stop attacks before they even happen. Yeah, we knew about this guy. We replaced his bullets with Tic Tacs. Mmm, orange. My favorite. But the TSA does nothing. For one thing, they straight up suck at screening. When the Department of Homeland Security tested them, the TSA failed to find mock weapons and explosives 95% of the time. No way, really? Hey, you can't bring this knife here. Here are your other knives back. Also, if you wouldn't mind, real big smile, pose for Instagram. Beautiful. Instagram? Yeah, they post everything they confiscate to Instagram, and uh, it's pretty embarrassing. What filter do you like? Do you like Kelvin? Uh, Mayfair. Oh, man. All day. Most of the stuff they confiscate is just novelty crap. No, look, that's a grenade. No, that's just a vape that's shaped like a grenade. How is that dangerous? But that, that, that's a samurai sword, that's a weapon. No, those aren't weapons, those are replica weapons. And their owner isn't a terrorist, he's a dweeb. And stop calling them samurai swords. It's a master sword replica from the Legend of Zelda, all right? Confiscating fake weapons and stopping people from just saying the word bomb? Don't say bomb! <sighs> Come on, man. Get up. Those things do nothing to stop terrorism. They just create the illusion of security. It's a concept called security theater. Good morning, sir. Now, won't you step aside? For I perceive the mace, your breeches high. Last wastrel villain such as I, who ne'er shall breach thy fine security. I feel so safe. Security theater is a show the agency puts on to make it look like they're doing a lot to protect us. Found another grenade vape. And make sure to tag me, David. Even though they're not. What? Who's that? I was hoping you'd show up. That's Bruce Schneier. He's a renowned expert on security theater. Why is he a scooter? I'm broadcasting from a secure location, and I couldn't get through the metal detector. Anyway, as far as screening goes, what we had before September 11th is actually quite adequate. Taking your shoes off and putting your liquids in a separate bag doesn't actually make you safer. It just makes you feel safer. But if we feel safer, isn't that, isn't that good? Well, first, the illusion of security isn't worth it if you have to give up essential freedoms and privacies to get it. Ooh. Hey, watch it! Stop clenching! And secondly, it's dangerous to present the illusion of security when the system is actually quite vulnerable to terrorist attacks. What? It is? Oh, yeah, even if this screening worked, it would only protect us against the last way we were attacked. It does nothing to stop terrorists from finding new ways to hurt us. The terrorists can see our security. They can figure out how to get around it. So instead of trying to make airports impregnable, we should take the money we're wasting on the TSA and spend it on things that work. Intelligence, investigation, and emergency response. Face it, Phil, the TSA does nothing but violate your privacy and waste your time. Man, this robot is right. I quit. Oh, these uniforms are very cheap. You're free to go. 
Hey, I'm Adam from College Humor. If you like that clip, make sure to check out my new show, Adam Ruins Everything, Tuesdays at 10 p.m. on True TV. It's gonna ruin your Tuesday, but trust me, the rest of your week will be fine.